Today we're going to be reviewing the iPad 4 from Apple. Now this particular model that we're going to be testing today has both Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity. On the front face of the iPad 4 you have the 9.7 inch retina display. Up here you also have the front facing camera. Down here you have Apple's standard home button. Now we're going to flip the device over and when you flip the device over what you see on the back of the iPad is that smooth aluminum back. Down here you have the lightning connector port that's used to charge the device and for other connections. You also have the speakers. And right up top you have your rear facing camera and this black strip which is usually only found on the cellular enabled models. On the left hand side you have the screen rotation lock button, your volume rockers. On the right hand side you actually have your SIM card slot, which we'll talk about in a minute. And up top, you have your power button and your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. One of the best things about the iPad 4 is the Retina display itself. The resolution keeps everything looking really sharp and clear and the colors are also excellent. Now the screen also has some very flexible viewing angles which also makes for a great experience. iPad 4 is also possibly the smoothest tablet experience currently on the market. The screen has absolutely no choppiness or lag and it really responds very well to touch. You can also see how smooth and responsive the screen is when playing games like Fruit Ninja. Web browsing is another one of the iPad 4's strengths. Web pages open up really fast, scrolling is smooth, and pinch to zoom is nearly flawless. The iPad plays back full HD videos really well. The colors are very natural, the images are vivid, and it does so very smoothly. However, due to its unconventional aspect ratio, you might see some black bars on the top and bottom of some videos. Here's a clip to show you how the iPad performs. Of an extraordinary motion picture event, about one year in the life, of the creatures who share our planet. Set the volume on the iPad all the way up so you can actually hear what it sounds like. The sound is really good quality and pretty loud too. You can also connect your HDTV to the iPad using an HDMI cable and the lightning to HDMI adapter that is optional. Now you plug that into the HDMI cable and the lightning connector then plugs into your iPad. And what this does is it will mirror exactly what's on your iPad screen onto the HDTV and you can play it. The iPad is also an extremely slick gaming device. It doesn't drop any frames, has no lag and responds very well to motion input. iPad's battery life is also extremely impressive. We got approximately 8 to 9 hours in mixed usage conditions. Now the iPad's battery charges using a lightning type connector, which is another neat little feature that Apple includes with this device. Now the beauty of this connector is the fact that it can be inserted into the iPad either way and it'll still charge the iPad. 
Another major advantage the iPad enjoys over Android tablets is its App Store, which has significantly more apps than the Android App Store. The iPad's Voice Activated Assistant feature, Siri, is also really helpful for looking up quick bits of information. And all you need to do to activate this is hold down the Home button. What is the weather today? Here's the forecast today. The wireless antenna on the iPad 4 also maintained a very strong, reliable and fast connection throughout our testing. The iPad's camera took some exceptionally good pictures in well-lit conditions and some rather grainy pictures in poorly lit conditions. On the cellular enabled models of the iPad, you're going to need the SIM card removal tool. You're going to have to insert it at an angle into the hole that's right next to the SIM card slot. And as you do this and press firmly, the SIM card pops out and can be removed. The SIM card can then also be replaced uh, the same way by just pushing it back into the slot. So overall, the iPad 4 is well designed, well built, extremely reliable, comes with a great selection of apps and is arguably the best tablet experience currently on the market. If you like this review of the iPad 4, please subscribe to our channel. The link to this product is also in the description section below and thank you very much for watching. Please also check out our unboxing of the iPad 4 and our review of the smart case for the iPad by clicking on the video links above.